was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we get started, I gotta go ahead and say thank God, King Jesus, for another day and another opportunity. And as y'all can see from the looks of the title in the screen, today I put together a very special build for y'all in which I'm calling the two-way rear protecting post score. And out of all NBA players, this one's reminding me of Victor Wimbanyama and Bobo. Now, when it comes to these attributes today, we're going to get a 99 plus when it comes towards our standing dunk, post control, block, defensive rebound with a 95 plus strain. Now, we're also going to get the elite standing contact dunk packages with some extra passing styles. And as far as for the dribbling, this is one of the best 7 2 centers to make for that. So, for this build, you're going to be able to dominate on the interior with the post scoring and interior finishing. For this shooting, you're definitely going to be able to be a threat from the mid range and out deep on the three. For the playmaking, I'm telling you, you're going to be able to break ankles as well as ISO. And then for that defensive end, this is one of the best defensive builds that I have possibly made. So, before we get any further and I show you my personal number one center build. If it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, smash that like button, turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family, and last but definitely not least, comment down TG for thank God King Jesus and where you're tuning in from, and I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with a response. So the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is put this build under the center position. Let's go with the height of 7-2. Now, I really did like this year, 7-2 over 7-3. I think it gives you a huge boost when it comes towards your physicals. But not only that, you're able to do everything just as a 7-3 center would be able to. Now, when it comes to this weight, let's go with 245. And then for that wingspan, bring this one tick up to 7-8. Now from here we are all set to move forward and the first area that I do want to dive into is going to be our physicals. So as when it comes towards the stamina, I'm going to put this up to an 89. Getting into the vertical, let's go with a 75. Moving into the strength, I'm going to put this all the way up to a 92. And then as for when it comes towards the acceleration, let's go with a 45. Now for that speed, I'm going to put this up to a 50. And this is what we're going to be looking like for this side of the ball. Now remember... You do get a plus four from your Gatorade facility workouts. With that included, we'll have a 54 speed, 49 acceleration, 96 strength, 79 vertical, and then also a 93 stamina. Really sets you up perfectly, especially considering you're pretty much max height. Now let's dive into the defensive end. So for the interior, I'm gonna put this up to a 77. Getting into the perimeter defense, let's go with a 62. And then moving into the steal, I like this best at a 60. Now this is going to open up those passing lanes and allow you to get a lot more steals. As for when it comes towards this block, I did actually unlock unlimited boost for this build. So you can go anywhere from a 92 and up, but I really think 92 is going to be best. Now for that defensive rebound, put this up to a 92 here and a 57 for the offensive. And this is what we're going to be able to do on the defensive end. So as you can see, we get gold box out beast, rebound chaser, puggo stick. For that block, we also do get gold anchor, bronze chase down artist. For the steal, you do get bronze interceptor. For that perimeter, bronze workhorse and off ball pass. And then for the interior, a little bit more of the same of the other badges that I just went over. Now for the defensive end, you have seen just from the clips just how well we are able to move around on the defensive side. Now let's get started when it comes towards the playmaking. So for that speed with ball, I'm going to go up to a 46. Getting into the ball handle, I'm going to go with a 58. Let's go with a 75. Now as you can see right here, we get silver break starter, dimer. You're also going to get special delivery, bronze relay passer, touch passer. Then you also get bronze big driver and the same thing towards the speed with ball. Now from what you have seen, especially when it comes towards to being able to ISO, on this build, you're not going to struggle anywhere, especially if you consider adding boost. That's going to take this 58 up to a 60, and you're not going to be getting those stumble animations when it comes trying to combo other animations together. Now that we're finished with the playmaking, let's dive into the shooting. So for that mid-range shot, I'm going to put this all the way up to a 79. Moving into the three-pointer, I like this best at a 78. And then as we get into the free throw, 
my minimum threshold will be a 71. Now that's just to get free points on the bronze tier, I found it more than useful enough. All you need to acquire is Kobe Bryant free throw, and it's money every single time once you get the timing down. Now for that 3 pointer, we get silver catch and shoot, claymore, corner specialist, you also get green machine, guard up, and then you also do get open looks. Brown spot finder, whistle, you're also going to get blinders, and then on top of that, we do get dead eye. Now for the gold badge, I like comeback kid. For that mid range side, the only badge difference is going to be mini magician. Now overall, I think this is one of the best builds that you can make if you're looking to be a true dominant big man. That means you're going to be focusing on the interior for boards and defending. You also have to be able to guard that perimeter and switch onto any type of point guard or defender. And then especially when it comes towards the finishing, this is going to wrap the build up perfectly. So for that post control, let's go all the way up to a 90. Getting into the standing dunk, I like this best at a 90 as well. As we move a little bit further down the line, go with a 73 for that driving dunk. And as you can see, this is what we're going to be able to do on the finishing side. Now as for that close shot, we get silver fast twitch, you're also getting pro touch, other badges are spot finder and whistle, hook specialist, then we get gold post fade phenom, dream shake, now when it comes towards that dropping layup, we get gold aerial wizard, brown slithery, bunny, whistle once again with two step and pro touch on the silver tier, then you also get spin cycle, before that dropping dunk, here's where things get very special, I wanted to at least be able to get bronze posterizer. Not only that, but we do get gold precision dunker, silver two step to pair it up with. Now for that standing dunk, we get silver fast twitch, rise up, aerial wizard, and precision dunker. And then for the post control, gold drop stepper, back down punisher, post fade phenom, dream shake is definitely one of the most overpowered badges this year to break ankles as a big man. Now you also get silver post playmaker, hall of fame post spin technician, and to pair everything up with hook specialists, I think it makes it one of the best versatile builds on the offense to defensive side this year. Now is there anything that you possibly would do to change or make this build a little bit better? Some of my favorite badges definitely have to be coming from the post scoring, considering the fact that you will be able to not only posterize your opponent being a post scorer, but you're also able to get other badges like Dream Shake, which will allow you to get a whole lot better animations for ankle breakers. Now from this gameplay, I hope you have seen everything of what I mentioned when it comes to this build. Now if there's any changes or adjustments, feel free to go ahead and let me know. But let's go ahead and move forward to make sure that everybody made this build correctly. Now we should be able to get these three different comparisons, Victor Wimbanyama being number one, and as y'all can see, we have created the two-way post-scoring rim protector, also known as the Catfish Rim Protector in NBA 2K24 on next gen. Now I love these comparisons, I'm telling y'all, it does not get much better than this. Thank you to everyone who made it to the very end, and if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new smash that like button turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family and last but definitely not least comment down tg for thank god king jesus and where you're tuning in from and i most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with the response and with all that being said though i got one last thing to say rich out